John here guys and today we're talking about the J Himku. Uh, you know J Himku isn't really big on coming up with clever names for their products. They're not really big on packaging but what they are big on is cutting out all of those costs and giving you low cost fairly robust options for flying especially on the micro side they're coming out with 30 by 30 and 20 by 20 stuff too and that is the perfect segue into this thing so you see this is an all-in-one like they've become famous for making but it's not a toothpick board size it's a 20 by 20 size <laughs> And we have seen 20 by 20 all in ones before. In fact, I actually have the HGLRC Zeus that I'm going to finally get around to talking about at some point. But these guys and Hi Fi RC and Beta PV and Diatone have started to crack the code for coming out with things of this size all in one that can actually handle um, 4 to 6S and power a decent sized quad. No, I probably would not install 2208 motors on this thing or fly six inch props, but for a lot of these in-between things that do have 20 by 20 mounting, instead of just adding an adapter to adapt one of those toothpick ports, they've finally given you this option. But what is most notable, aside from the fact that it comes with this standard 6S size cap, a 1035, um, very nice, is that the footprint is actually 20 by 20, not toothpick board. That means that it can fit in all of our standard race and freestyle builds. It actually also means there's a little bit more familiar real estate for going into a wider variety of frames. Now that these things are getting stronger and stronger, do we really have to keep them in toothpick sized little small things or can we use them to run something larger like a <laughs> very light, you know, something like a floss or other kind of race quad or other little freestyle quads. So I'm actually gonna use this in an upcoming build. We'll see if you see this video or that video come out first. Very impressive though. Uh, comes of course with the standard little gummies. That they have a pretty good um, wiring diagram right here that you can find. It does have the MPU 6000 gyro. Has a nine volt output as well as a five volt. Um, so that'll be perfect for DJI's a load of UARTs built in. And it also has support for um, LEDs, that kind of stuff, all of your D shots. It only weighs 7.9 grams. So this is a very light option. It should be very strong. This one is an F4. So some of the newer ones are coming out with an F7. But given that the price of it is only 46.99, I mean, that's a pretty good value. So quick rundown, it has plenty of space on the front and the back because of the 20 by 20 layout for a lot of fets and caps. So it should be fairly clean. It has loads of UARTs all the way around. It has the MPU, the MP6000 gyro. Um, it has an F4 processor. There are a few of these things coming out with F7. So this one's F4, but it comes with a pretty cheap $46 price point. Uh, so keep in mind, this replaces your whole stack. So is it going to be able to hold up? Well, I'm gonna be putting this in the new Catalyst Machine Works prototype, the Shocker, and we'll see just how shocking this thing is. Is it shocking because it goes up into a blaze of glory? Or is it shocking because it actually can handle a pretty nice ultralight five inch? Uh, this is a very welcome thing for me. You know, I often use the very cheap Mamba $38 um, stack for some of these, but sometimes you want a little bit less size. And the, the next option would be to use the toothpick boards, but when, you, when your frame doesn't have that option available, you're kind of stuck like trying to adapt it or you can just go with this, still keep the one layer format, still keep the ultra light uh, format. This is only 7.9 grams. So looking forward to this. What are you guys doing? Are you using all in ones? Are you still sticking to the OG 30 by 30? Or are you going to the mad dog 20 by 20, son? Let me know in the comments. Thanks guys.